Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm still in Hook Head and I'm at Hook Lighthouse and I'm here for sunset. It's still a clear day, so there's not going to be much uh, in terms of clouds or color in the sky, but I'm still hopeful that I'll get a couple of nice shots from this very, very impressive location. This spot actually is excellent when you get a good swell because you get a phenomenal surge of the water that hits the rocks that are below us here. And whilst today is going to be calm, I still think there's going to be some nice light on the horizon once the sun will dip down below um, the hills that are in the distance. So yeah, let's go. Let's see how we get on here today at the Mighty Hook. set up my first composition here and I've decided to go into actually a portrait orientation for the reason being that I want to be able to get some of the foreground that's below the uh, tripod right now. There's some green grasses that are growing within the cracks that are in the rocks and I'm trying to capture those to be able to kind of lead into the photograph and lead you up then to the lighthouse which is on the top third of the frame. The sun is just to the right hand side as well so it's proving quite difficult to be able to expose. It's always difficult to expose directly straight into the sun and a couple of tips that I'd share with you. Number one is make sure your lens is absolutely spotless because if you've any bit of dust on that you will see that coming through on the image. Um, the second is you know when you're composing your photograph it's important that you bump up your exposure time so you can actually see what your composition is going to be like in the foreground because if you expose to the sky then you won't be able to see what your foreground is like because that's going to be dark. Now when you're taking your photograph as well you have to make sure that you're taking exposure for the foreground in front as well so that you can actually capture that detail because the highlights in the sky will effectively blow out the uh, image. So this is my first shot anyway now. I'll show you uh, this shot now and then I'm going to play around this area and try and find some different areas of composition, things within the foreground, like I said, to lead me up into that. There is no real movement in the water, so it's going to be a calm enough anyway scene, but I'm going to take a mi mixture of different types of photographs. I'm at F16 actually at the moment to get that sun star. And then I'm also going to put on my uh, 10 stop and I'm going to go for a long exposure as well. Smooth out that water and then if we get a bit of colour in the sky I think it will be a nice photograph. But yeah, show you this one anyway now and then we'll check back in again in a moment. rocks I noticed there's a groove in the side of the cliff and what I've decided to do is to use that to kind of mirror the shape of the lighthouse as well that's going to be at the top of the frame so what you'll end up with it is the lighthouse as you can see here and then there's a cutout and the lighthouse then will be kind of mirrored effectively within that so it's like a cutout into the rock. It's a challenge to expose because I'm shooting directly into the sun still it hasn't dipped below where it's going to be comfortable for me to be able to take some uh, longer exposures but I've taken two exposures one for the foreground and then one for the uh, sky. Now I also as well have my equivalent my 10 stop on so it's allowing me to have a longer exposure to be able to kind of smooth out the water because with the very minimal movement that's in the water as well itself I kind of want to have that more placid and more calm so by having the longer exposure you smooth all that out as well it becomes less of a distraction so what you'll have then is the lighthouse like I say in the top uh, of the frame top third and then the bottom third here is that groove that cutout and then you'll have the smoothness of the water as well in between that so yeah that's the, the next shot anyway uh, as the light will drop I'm sure there'll be a couple of other compositions that will open themselves up for me but yeah for now anyway I'll show you these and we'll check back in again in a moment.
sun is just starting now to dip and it's giving me a nice bit of a glow on the sky. Now I'm still sticking with my 30 second exposure but I've gone back now to a landscape orientation and by doing that I'm including as well a bit of the cliff that you can see here before me to kind of create that bit of separation and have that foreground interest as well. I'm excited now to see what the sky will do even though there's no clouds I still think it's going to be some nice light anyway and it'll lend itself nicely I think to some uh, long exposures so yeah everything at the moment is 30 seconds anyway that will probably change maybe it might even go up as the sun will dip below the uh, horizon and go out of sight but still nice in here right now to have that ball of glow on the right hand side of the uh, lighthouse as well and i'm enjoying these shots as well so far so I'll show you this shot now and then i think we'll wait and we'll check back in once the sun has dipped below Sun now has gone below and what I'm noticing is that there's a lot of haze on the horizon so it's kind of diffusing that light. Might be good, might be bad, I don't know. Um, on the back of the camera anyway it looks nice but I'm sticking with my 30 second exposure anyway for now and I'll wait and see because I may or may not get any sort of afterglow that will light up that sky because there's not much really in the sky to catch it but we do have that band of haze which is sitting nicely behind the lighthouse so what I might end up doing here is zooming in to 35 mil to be able to get rid of the foreground and just concentrate on the lighthouse with that glow that's actually behind it as well that should be a nice shot as well I think also so I've really enjoyed my trip here to the mighty hook uh, conditions like I said were nice and calm I probably will come back here again with a good bit of a storm because you can get some incredible movement of the water that's crashing below on the rocks and there's some great shapes and textures as well in those rocks so I think they lend themselves nicely to a rough sea. So I'm going to finish up like I say. Thank you very very much as always for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed coming on this adventure. If it's your first time on the channel please do hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment and until the next time, Schlange Fall.